hello everyone through this video we'll discuss one more concept of string that is known as a string buffer class okay so already you have studied what is string in our previous video but again what is the need of string buffer class in java okay so the first difference is that you have studied in string that the object of string is immutable okay so that means you cannot change the content of the string object so to overcome that particular drawback we got another class that is known as a string buffer class which represents strings in such a way that their data can be modified it means the string buffer class objects are mutable okay and there are methods provided in this class which directly manipulates the data inside the object okay so if you'll we'll understand in brief that we can create mutable string okay and whose contents can be modified this is these are the two most important difference between string class and string buffer class okay so how we can modify that we'll see through the example but before that let's understand how actually we can create the string buffer class object so there are three different methods either empty string buffer we can create with a initial capacity of 16 that means the default capacity is 16 okay now second by using a string buffer with specified string value otherwise one empty string buffer we can create with a specified capacity as length okay so what is this meaning of three all these three different concept let's see here okay so the first syntax says that you are creating one empty string object that is your string name okay so the default size of the string is 16 here why 16 because character size is 2 byte so 16 is the size okay second is you can specify a particular string name to the string buffer object third you can set the capacity and accordingly you can change the value also or you can insert a new value also okay so let's see through the example so that you can understand in a better way okay so use of string buffer class in java so let's select j for java define the main method okay so the first approach i am writing string buffer ob1 equal to new string buffer we are providing one value here let me print the value it's ob1 okay so let's see whether it's working or not save the file go to the command prompt yes compile successfully so the value of first string is 3 okay so i am getting the result okay now the second approach what we are doing so using string buffer class ob2 equal to empty string we have created clear and then you can write ob2 dot append 3 okay so we are using another method append method to keep the value here so 
so second string ob2 okay so here you have not specified any value here we have not specified any size so the default size of that particular string object will be 16 clear so here you are not specifying any value also so let's check compiled yes i am getting the second string also okay now we'll move to the third creation of the object copy it and paste it suppose object 3 here i am specifying one size okay yeah, 50 as the capacity done and what we actually i am doing i am writing ob3 dot append let's i am giving a different name ob3 suppose i am giving a second was different value here so that you can understand ob2 and then ob3 so in the third approach i am providing a larger capacity and then i am putting the value here okay so as the capacity i have declared as with 50 it is possible to store more than 50 characters also into the string buffer class object okay then so let's check compiled see first one object one second object third object clear so there are three different ways i can use this string buffer class to create the object okay so we'll write down one more example where the complete usage of string buffer class you can understand so what we will do actually uh, input the first name middle name and last name of one student and display it using string buffer class okay so how nicely i can utilize the concept of string buffer class we will see here okay done so define the main method okay so let's use the scanner class okay string buffer name equal to new string buffer okay so i am creating one empty string then now what you will do So f name clear system dot out dot print ln enter the first name so f name equal to sc dot next clear so similarly I'll take the input for middle name i'll take the input from the keyboard then the last name and i'll take the input from the keyboard okay so by using scanner class i am taking the input for first name middle name and the last name okay now what i am doing actually 
in the name string first i am appending the first name okay so the first name is being included so let me import the util package as i have used the scanner class but this is import java dot util dot star okay now after appending the first name what is the requirement i have to append the second name but i am not appending the second name what i am doing i am appending the last name okay so what is my objective is actually suppose i am writing java programming language okay so java is my first name that i have entered programming is the middle name that i have entered and language is the third name i have entered name is the final one so first i am appending java after that i am appending the last name so finally this is becoming java language okay i'll display this one but what i want i'll insert this programming at this particular place or after the end of the first string clear this is what my objective so it will become java programming language okay so for that what i need to do if i will insert at the end or at, at the end of the first string i need to find the position so to find the position i have to find the length of the first string clear so till now what is the name let me print system dot out dot print ln till now without middle name value is what is the value this is for our clarification i am printing the value name clear okay okay now what i need to do i need to insert so for insertion i need to find the length so what is the length how i will find now after which particular name i will insert i will insert after first name so f name dot length okay so length is the method here so it will alien variable keep the length of the first name okay after that i will find the position i got the position so length of first string or you can say first name required to insert middle name okay now you can understand what is why i am finding the length okay so name dot insert clear so one insert method is there where to insert now length value what i need to insert now the middle name i need to insert so at length position middle name will be inserted so if i will find the value for, or index from zeroth index length of first string will be the position after the end character of first string or first name clear so now i have inserted the middle name at the proper position clear okay now i'll print system dot out dot print ln full name is name okay because i got the enter name so test string buffer name okay let's check it's working or not yes compilation done so enter the first name no java second name programming asking for the third string language so see before inserting the middle name i got it java language 
after that i am finding the length of the first string and at that position i am inserting the middle name so at the proper position the programming word has been inserted so it became java programming language okay so this is what the use of string buffer class and its beauty then so multiple number of methods are there which you can use for string buffer class okay so through this video at least you will get the idea how to modify the content of a string object which you cannot do in string class okay so thank you for watching this